Hello everyone, I'm the Mass Analyst. I want you all to go and watch a couple of videos. The first one is by BCJ999 and it's called Inmentum uh, is Very Ignorant. And the second one is by Inmentum explaining his channel policy. Do it now before watching the rest of this video. And you better do it quickly because chances are very good that BCJ's uh, video is going to go bye-bye very soon because Menham has uh, said that he's filed a DMCA against it. Now, what led up to this, uh, these two videos is this. I don't want to call Menham a Holocaust denier. Uh, that's not quite the right word. He, he doesn't contest that six million Jews died during the Holocaust time. He does contest certain key aspects of it. He contests that the Holocaust was a deliberate policy implemented by the Nazis for the extermination of the Jews. At least that's not how it started out. That's what he says. Um, and he denies that vast number of Jews died in the gas chambers of, uh, of Germany during the, during the Second World War. His logic is, well, let's just say it's a little bit hard to follow. He says that because there are lots and lots of pictures of Jews who weigh 65 pounds, uh, that in somehow proves that the Nazis didn't have gas chambers, that no one would uh, toss a 65-pound person into a gas chamber when if they wanted to kill them, all they had to do was, like, poke them. I, don't, I can't say I follow the, the logic, but this isn't about his logic. This isn't about uh, whether or not the Holocaust happened or what exactly happened during the Holocaust. That's, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I want you to examine BCJ999's video. And if you do, clearly his use of Amenem's clips fall within fair use. Amenem's not making any money off of his video, so it's not like he's depriving Amenem any money. Now what Amenem is filing the DMCA for, or so he says, is that he objects to BCJ's uh, doctoring, or I think BCJ didn't actually do the doctoring, but he's using someone else's clip with permission to doctor. Uh, he doctored a, a Photoshop in which Emendum is dressed up like Adolf Hitler, and Emendum finds that very offensive, that he's being portrayed as Adolf Hitler. And so he's filing a DMCA against uh, BCJ999's video in, in, in an attempt to get the video removed. I'm not sure, but he may also be attempting to get uh, BCJ suspended. I'm not sure what his intents on that are. I first want to observe that uh, what he is doing, and I'll, I'll direct this direct, I, I'm going to direct this directly to you and Venom. What you're doing is trying to use copyright law to achieve what you couldn't possibly achieve through either libel or slander law. If you went to, uh, to sue BCJ and accuse him of libeling you because he called you Hitler or portrayed you as Hitler, there's no way that you would win. Courts have consistently recognized uh, that when people call each other Hitler or Nazis on the internet, that this is hyperbole. It's an exaggeration. And no one would really believe that uh, they're seriously portraying you as a Nazi or Hitler. Unless, of course, uh, there's other evidence to go be, uh, beyond that. But so what if he's putting a picture of you as Hitler? No one, no one, not even the most lunatic person in their right mind would believe that he's making a statement of fact that somehow Hitler survived the war, that he didn't put a bullet in his brain, and that uh, he's lived all these years, and that you are in fact Adolf Hitler. Nobody is going to believe that. So if you were going to try and sue him for defamation, You'd have to be saying that he made a statement of fact that you were Hitler. He did no such things. This might be internet hyperbole. And, in fact, in his video, he said specifically why he characterized you as Hitler. He said, it was, um, he said that he did this because of your policy of blocking people and preventing them from commenting on your channel. It's because of your censorious nature, because you censor other people, that he portrayed you as Hitler in the Photoshop. Now, people throw around the terms Nazi and Hitler these days, and it sort of cheapens the term Nazi and Hitler, but a very common usage of that term these days is 
to portray someone who's a censorship, who censors, who is extremely unreasonable, who goes beyond any reason whatsoever in order to prep to oppress someone else's right to speak. And in that sense of the matter, in that common usage of the matter, I would say that you have Hitler-esque quali qualities. Now, I actually wouldn't say that because, again, it cheapens uh, the memory of the atrocity of what Hitler did. But I think it would be a fair uh, thing to say that you have certain qualities that Hitler has. Not that you want to kill Jews. I'm not saying you're anti-Semitic. Not that you have ever murdered people. Um, I'm not saying that at all. But you do have the quality to censor people. And then in your own video, you did indeed, it's almost like a, a brag. I don't know if it was a brag, but you stated that you had blocked 200 people from commenting on your channel. I guess that uh, earns you the reputation of an A number one blockhead. Now what you did in, that, in filing a copyright complaint against BCJ999 was wrong. It was downright immoral. It looks to me like you're trying to censor his freedom of speech. What he did was fair use. Copyright law was intended to provide an environment in which people would be encouraged to produce new works. That is the purpose of copyright law. And I'll I've stated this in past videos, and I've stated this on my blog, and I'll post a link to my blog in my website. Uh, now, in order to accomplish those ends, copyright law gives artists, authors, certain control over how their uh, works are used and the right to profit it. But it also recognizes that people need to be able to quote from previous works in order to build their new works. Copyright law is a tension between these two objectives. Unfortunately, because of the way the DMCA was written, it's an extremely poor uh, law, it's an extremely poorly written law, and YouTube's implementation of the DMCA is not very well thought out, in my opinion. Uh, it's unnecessarily draconian. And you are using uh, these two unfortunate uh, conditions. Uh, the fact that YouTube will be more than happy to jump in, well, I shouldn't say more than happy, but they'll be willing to jump in and act as your censor to remove BCJ's video in order to stifle what BCJ is saying, or at least in order to stifle his use of that, uh, of that picture. That's wrong, and that's exactly what copyright law was not intended to do. Copyright law was not intended to protect your delicate widow feeling. It was not intended to allow you to say, Oh, look at the bad man! Make the bad man stop from calling me a Nazi! <laughs> it was not intended to save your ass from because you are a butthurt little bitch. What you're using copyright for, law for is not what it was intended for. Now, if you don't like the fact that BCJ implied that you had Hitler-esque tendencies, the avenue to pursue would be either libel or slander law. Of course, no court in their right mind, at least within the United States, uh, would reward you for such a lawsuit. You would lose, almost guaranteed. So now you're using po copyright law for a purpose that it was never intended for. This, my friend, is abuse of the copyright law, in my opinion. I hope you will reconsider your actions and that you will withdraw the DMCA that you follow against uh, BCJ999. And I understand you said, and I didn't catch a name, that you filed a DMCA against someone else. My guess is that that's probably a bullshit DMCA as well. I don't know what that other guy said in his video, but um, at least withdraw it against BCJ999. And probably, if it's as bullshit a DMCA as the one that you filed against BCJ, I hope that you will withdraw that one as well. This has been the Mass Analyst, under and in.